How much time do you think you've spent underwater? Well, the world record for any person spending one stretch of time down there is about 240 hours, when a guy named Tim Yarrow spent 10 days in a pool just to prove that he can do it. But I meant in your life. How much time do you think you'll spend actually beneath the surface of a lake, river, ocean, or any other naturally made pool? Wait, the question here is rhetorical. I don't really expect you to answer it. The point is, humans aren't down there enough to know about everything that lives under the sea. So it's no wonder new underwater sea creatures are popping out or floating up all the time. Welcome back to The Supreme. I'm your host, Matty Wills, and today's title is Something Truly Surprising Was Found Underwater. Want to become part of The Supreme Team? Make sure to subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss anything we post each day. Let's get rolling. Pink Dolphins? We'll kick things off right here at the top of today's countdown with footage that recently surfaced in March of 2019. Now, this is a bit strange, so just follow me. A group of people have gathered here in this water hole near a river because they claim that they saw, which you'll see in just a moment, a group of pink dolphins. Yeah, that's right. And after doing a bit of research, these are actually a real thing. Check it out. What in the world? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Well, after looking into it for just a bit, the Amazon River is home to pink river dolphins, which, according to some pretty smart science people, have a brain capacity that's actually 40% larger than you and I and every other human being's brain on the planet. Also, pink dolphins come in many different shades and can even be blotted with a bunch of gray as well. These dolphins also choose to live a more solitary life as they typically only travel in groups of two to four. Unlike most ocean dolphins, which could travel in groups of up to a thousand depending on where they are and how much food is present. Dumbo octopus. So before we can just move on, it's about time that we do one of our favorite things, which is to show a little love to one of our most recent viewers. With that being said, today's special shout out goes to none other than Mama Toshi, who just the other day, after watching one of our most recent episodes, left a comment that said, Hey Maddie, I look forward to my daily dose of Supreme. Thanks for sharing the love. Hashtag Supreme Family. Hey, Mama Tosha, can I call you mom? Mom, check this out. We love that you love our channel. Thanks for letting us know. And don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. So make sure you come on back to continue to share in this journey. From one set of wildly unknown animals to another one. Up next, we'll introduce you to the Dumbo octopus, who may indeed have one of the strangest animal names I've ever come across. These guys, who get their names from their ears, obviously, are deep sea animals that live most of their lives on the ocean floor, which can be found around 10,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. They also have very large eyes and can grow to about five feet long. How would you like to come across one of these rare animals while you're doing a little deep sea diving? Pretty cool looking thing, right? Another fun fact is that these octopus can actually change color when they deem it necessary. And unlike others in their species, they actually cannot produce ink. Hagfish, from the unknown to the extremely strange. Up next, meet the hagfish, which actually doesn't look like a fish at all. It looks more like some kind of monsters or alien snakes that live underwater. Sea snakes are different though, as you'll be finding out a little later on in today's show. The most notable thing about this creature is the slime. When touched as a defense mechanism, a slick, slippery, mucousy slime is produced, which aids in the hagfish's ability to escape danger. Now, just how disgusting is that? Now, I haven't heard about anyone eating this particular species of fish, but I gotta tell you, in the rare event that I personally ever come over for dinner, please, don't have this on the menu. Another fun fact about this amazing creature is that hagfish actually have four hearts. And some reports suggest that this animal dates back around 330 million years ago. In fact, the only recovered fossils suggest that this animal hasn't really changed all that much over the last few hundred million years. Do you want to get a shout out in one of our daily videos? Well, don't forget to drop a comment down below with the hashtag Supreme Family. Tomorrow could be your day. Now, let's get back to the topic. Swarms of Yeti crabs. 
We'll keep it moving. Crabs are sometimes considered spiders of the sea, and it's not hard to see why, especially when you consider the many legs they all have. Now, seeing one or two crabs at a time is not a big deal, but if you're out near Antarctica, underwater of course, you may see a massive swarm of these quote-unquote ghostly yeti crabs near the ocean floor. And just look at how massive this swarm really is. These guys actually feed on the bacteria that live off of minerals that spew up from the vents near an underwater volcano. Pretty crazy, right? Anyone in the mood for some crab legs? The Blue Whale's Feast Now, our planet is filled with all types of animals, from the tiniest of the teeny tiny to the most gigantic, large beasts that are just a marvel to look at. The largest mammal on the planet is actually the blue whale. These guys can live to around 80 or 90 years old and can weigh as much as 330,000 pounds. With all that said, it's no secret that they have a big appetite. Check out this drone video that features a humongous blue whale that's plotting on its next meal. Scientists are shooting this footage off the coast of New Zealand. Now, you can see the whale just below the surface of the water as it approaches a massive krill. The krill mass in this video is also incredible as tens of thousands of the tiny crustacean can be seen from hundreds of feet above the water. The whale slowly opens his mouth to consume as many of the small animals as possible, being sure not to waste any of the energy spent tracking down this humongous dinner. For the record, it would take about 2,200 pounds of food to fill a blue whale's stomach, and a blue whale could even eat up to 8,000 pounds of the shrimp-like animal during their peak period. Plastic Now, we've seen a few fabulous animals today, but right now let's take a moment to acknowledge something else floating around in our waters that is actually horrible for all of the marine life that we've been talking about all day. In an unsettling recent discovery, based on an article recently published by USA Today, there's actually more pollution in the deep ocean than there is in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which we've also covered here on this channel in past episodes. You see, the problem now is that these tiny pieces of plastic, called microplastic, that are not only floating around on the surface, but also have sunken deep into the depths of all of our water, are causing quite an issue. Basically, there's plastic everywhere, and every single underwater animal is paying for it. Some have even suggested that the deeper parts of the oceans have four times the amount of plastic per square inch than on the surface, and obviously, we can all see how that's a problem. So, if you don't recycle, now may be a good time to reconsider. Sea snakes Earlier, we spoke about hagfish, and I mentioned that we may have an actual underwater snake conversation a little later in today's show. And, well, that time is now. Warm coastal waters have become prime real estate for sea snakes. Right, just when you thought you just had to watch out for snakes on land and in trees, now you can't even get in the water without knowing whether or not you'd cross paths with one of these slippery creatures. They can swim in the same motion as when they slither across the ground, and they come out to hunt for their dinners at different times of day. So not only do we have to worry about snakes on a plane, shout out to Samuel L. Jackson, but now we've got to also worry about snakes on our beach. Ugh, and just when you thought it was safe. Lion's mane jellyfish. From the Dumbo octopus from a little earlier in today's show to the lion's mane jellyfish right now. Check this thing out. Ugh, how ugly is that? This is one of the ugliest and strangest animals found anywhere in the sea, and it's also the largest known jellyfish in the world. Found all over the world, from the Arctic to the Northern Atlantic, the largest known lion's mane jellyfish ever recorded washed ashore in Massachusetts all the way back in 1870. It was a jellyfish that was 7 feet 6 inches long and had tentacles that reached over 120 feet. Can you imagine seeing a jellyfish that could reach out to 120 feet long? That's just insane. Diving Bell Spider So a few minutes ago, we saw snakes that could live and hunt underwater. But how about a spider? Now, I'm not talking about another crab. Meet the Diving Bell Spider. This dude has actually figured out how to survive and spend its entire life underwater. But spiders can't breathe when they're submerged in water. So how do they survive? Well, this is pretty cool. They actually spin a very fine web around a bubble of air that stays there because it's trapped. They even have the ability to replenish the air bubbles by traveling to the surface, capturing more air, and then putting it back into their pre-made bubble. Once this is done, these diving bell spiders can pretty much spend their entire lives down there. 
How cool is that? Icy finger of death. So, have you ever seen an underwater icicle before? No? Well, you've come to the right place. This brinicle, or what's otherwise known as the finger of death, develop when impurities like salt are forced out of freezing sea ice in the Arctic and Antarctic. As the salt sinks down to the ocean floor, the water around it becomes more saline, which in turn lowers the freezing temperature and makes the new solution more dense. Once that sinks lower to the surface, it comes into contact with warmer water, which causes the water around it to freeze, thus creating this beautiful, natural, strange underwater sea icicle. Pretty cool, huh? And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.